Hello everyone and welcome to the Masai Mara. My name is Scott, I'm teamed up with Ferg. We spent the night out here and we were sleeping with two female cheetah, two sisters. They are just up to our left. There's some Thompson's gazelle up ahead of us. So you've joined at a good time. They've already had two attempted hunts this morning, both of which they didn't come very close. Let's show the cheats in our fur because they are getting fairly close. Um, there we go. Now, she was the one that spearheaded the last chase, whereas the other cheetah did not get involved, not even in the slightest. So already interesting to learn, or at least think we're learning, a few traits about these cheetah. Oh, the Thompson's Gazelle have seen the cheetah now. And what's interesting, take a look at this, is rather than running away, they run towards the cheetah. Well, at least kind of walk quickly towards the cheetah. Better the devil you know than that you don't. And that is exactly the theorem they're employing here. Not a worry in the world, and if they know that the cheetah are around, the cheetah have got very, very little chance of catching them. And they are making this clearly known to the cheetah. Who knows, though? These are two young cheetahs, so there is a chance that they will have a crack at these Thompsons anyway, simply because they are young and inexperienced. I love the way Thompson's gazelles are permanently wagging their tail. That's certainly one of their traits that is most noticeable. And I'm happy to hear that a lot of you are excited to see, well, at least the prospects of seeing these cheetah try and catch some breakfast. I think they are definitely going to continue to provide us with some great, great action in the coming weeks. And seriously looking forward to spending the day out with these girls. What's also interesting is trying to kind of get to know their behavior as to what time they wake up in the morning, are they active early on, and I mean, there's never a set rule to anything, but this is definitely the most I have spent with Cheetah in my life since we've been in the Mara, so really enjoying getting to know a little bit about them. They went to bed at about 8.30 last night, and they only decided to snuggle up with one another at around 10.30, so they were sleeping about five meters apart initially. Then they snuggled up with one another and slept in the same spot until about quarter to six, they started getting up and stretching. We were up from 4.30 just to make sure we keep an eye on them, because the other cheetah that I have spent time, up, time with so far, have started getting up at about five in the morning, so still about an hour of darkness, an hour and a half of darkness at that stage of the day. Let us see if we cannot reposition you guys into another spot. Andy in Florida, yes, it's a huge, huge privilege to be able to spend the night out in this incredible wilderness and obviously to spend it with cheetah and lion, then that's also makes it that much better. It was a beautiful evening last night, not too cold. As you can see, the cheetah is making the right decision and not paying any interest to these Thompson's gazelle because without the elements of surprise, even for the fastest land mammal on the planet, they will not be able to catch their prey. They had quite a good opportunity earlier. A herd of Thompson's gazelle actually walked onto them and they just lay in wait until eventually they sprung out of the grass, but sadly they did not have any joy. They didn't actually even come close. And it's testament to how hard it is for predators to actually bring down their prey and how well evolved the prey are to escape being eaten. And that, of course, makes perfect sense, because if it was too easy for the predators to catch their food, then there wouldn't be any food for them. So it's Mother Nature's plans of diet making the cats stay on a lean diet by having very clever prey spotted through the plains. Now, I'm trying to learn the difference between these two sisters. This, to me, looks like the one with the bigger white fluffy tail and less 
and, and not such a big black segment. The other female has got a smaller white tip and a much larger segment of black towards the terminal end of the tail. So we have, we've only come up with some funny names and I'm just gonna tell them to you, but please do not uh, quote them or refer to these cheetah as them because it'll get us into trouble. We named uh, one Jillian, uh, <clears throat> that's this one here, I think. Kirsty will help remind me. And then the other one is, uh, oh no, this one's called, uh, this is called 100 kilometers an hour death. Um, it's quite a long name. And she seems to be leading the charges. And then her sister Jillian doesn't seem to be as clued up with the hunting. Just. The ringleader, very, very bold when it comes to the hunting and definitely the one. These Thompson's Gazelle have seen one cheetah.